Actinia versicolor is a superficial fungal infection caused by the yeast-like fungus called Malassezia. This fungus is normally present on the skin, but certain factors can trigger its overgrowth, leading to the development of tinea versicolor. The condition mainly affects the trunk, shoulders, and upper arms, although it can occur on other parts of the body as well. In this video, we will explore tinea versicolor overview, causes, sign and symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, home remedies, and unfrequently asked questions. By the way, welcome to our channel, don't forget to thumb up and subscribe. Meaning of tinea versicolor. Tinea refers to a group of fungal infections that affect the skin. It is commonly known as ringworm although it is not caused by worms. Various types of tinea infections can occur on different parts of the body, such as the scalp, called tinea capitis, feet, called tinea pedis or athlete's foot, or groin, called tinea cruris or jock itch. Versicolor is derived from the Latin words, versus, meaning, turning, or, changing, and, color, meaning, color. Combining the two components, tinea versicolor, refers to a specific type of fungal infection characterized by patches of skin that undergo color changes. These color changes can vary and may appear as light or dark patches, often in shades of white, pink, tan, or brown. Causes of tinea versicolor the causes of tinea versicolor are primarily related to the overgrowth of a yeast-like fungus called Malassezia. This fungus is naturally present on the skin and is usually harmless. However, certain factors can disrupt the balance of the skin's microorganisms and lead to the proliferation of Malassezia, resulting in tinea versicolor. Here are the main causes. Hot and humid weather conditions. The warm and moist environment provides an ideal breeding ground for the fungus to thrive and multiply. Excessive sweating. Especially in areas prone to tinea versicolor such as the trunk, neck, and upper arms, can contribute to the development of the infection. Oily skin. Individuals with naturally oily skin are more susceptible to tinea versicolor, because the excess oil provides a nutrient-rich environment for the fungus to grow. Weakened immune system. A weakened immune system can make a person more susceptible to various infections, including tinea versicolor. Hormonal changes. Fluctuating hormone levels can alter the skin's pH balance and oil production, providing favorable conditions for fungal growth. In Uyghur medicine, the causes of tinea versicolor are attributed to an imbalance in the body's nature and blood allowing external pathogenic factors like dampness, heat to invade the skin's nature. These pathogenic factors disrupt the body's natural harmony and contribute to the development of tinea. Treatment aims to address these imbalances and clear the pathogenic factors through herbal remedies, dietary adjustments, and external applications. Signs and symptoms of tinea versicolor. The symptoms of tinea versicolor can vary from person to person, but they generally involve changes in the color and texture of the skin. Here are the common signs and symptoms. Discolored patches. The primary symptom of tinea versicolor is the presence of small, scaly patches on the skin. Patches on specific areas. Tinea versicolor typically affects areas of the body with a higher concentration of oil glands, such as the chest, back, neck, upper arms, and sometimes the face. Itching or irritation. Some individuals with tinea versicolor may experience mild itching or irritation in the affected areas. Scaling or flaking. The patches of tinea versicolor may be accompanied by scaling or flaking of the skin. Sensitivity to sunlight. In some cases, the patches of tinea versicolor can become more pronounced after sun exposure. Diagnosis of tinea versicolor. A dermatologist can usually diagnose tinea versicolor by examining the affected skin. The characteristic appearance of the patches, combined with a medical history and physical examination, is usually sufficient for diagnosis. In some cases, the doctor may perform a skin scraping or use a special light called a woods lamp to identify the presence of the fungus. These additional tests can help confirm the diagnosis of tinea versicolor. Treatment options of tinea versicolor. Treatment options for tinea versicolor aim to control the overgrowth of the fungus and improve the appearance of the affected skin. Here are the common treatment options. 
Topical antifungal medications. Over-the-counter or prescription-strength antifungal creams, lotions, or ointments are often used as the first line of treatment for mild to moderate cases of tinea versicolor. Antifungal shampoos. When tinea versicolor affects the scalp or causes patches on the hairline, an antifungal shampoo can be used. Medicated shampoos containing ketoconazole, selenium sulfide, or pyrithione zinc can help reduce the fungal overgrowth on the scalp and hair follicles. Oral antifungal medications, in cases of severe or widespread tinea versicolor, oral antifungal medications may be prescribed. Good skin hygiene. Practicing good skin hygiene is essential for managing tinea versicolor. This includes keeping the affected areas clean and dry, avoiding excessive sweating, and wearing loose-fitting clothing made of breathable fabrics. It's important to follow the doctor-prescribed treatment regimen and complete the full course of medication, even if the symptoms improve. Natural Home Remedies for Tinea Quercicolor In addition to medical treatments, certain home remedies and prevention tips can complement the management of tinea corporis. These include Aloe vera. Aloe vera has soothing and healing properties that can help reduce inflammation and promote skin recovery. Coconut oil. Coconut oil contains medium-chain fatty acids with antifungal properties that can help combat the fungal overgrowth associated with tinea versicolor. Yogurt. Yogurt contains live cultures of beneficial bacteria, such as Lactobacillus acidophilus, which can help restore the natural balance of microorganisms on the skin. Oregano oil. Oregano oil has antifungal properties due to its active component called carvacrol. Neem. Neem, also known as Indian lilac, has antifungal and antibacterial properties that can help in the management of tinea versicolor. Turmeric. Turmeric contains a compound called curcumin, which has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. It is important to consult a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and to determine the most appropriate treatment plan for tinea corporis. Frequently asked questions about tinea versicolor. Is tinea versicolor contagious? No tinea versicolor is not considered contagious. It is caused by a naturally occurring fungus on the skin and is not transmitted from person to person. Can tinea versicolor be cured completely? With proper treatment, tinea versicolor can be effectively controlled and managed, but it may recur in some cases. Long-term management and preventive measures are important to prevent recurrence. Can tinea versicolor affect any age group? Yes. Tinea versicolor can affect individuals of all age groups, although it is more common in teenagers and young adults. Hormonal changes during puberty can contribute to the development of tinea versicolor. Can tinea versicolor spread to other parts of the body? Yes. Tinea versicolor can spread to other areas of the body if left untreated or if predisposing factors persist. It is important to seek treatment to prevent the spread of the infection. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.